The Terminal Arrival Area, or TAA, is a somewhat new development in IFR approaches, which allows controllers to clear pilots for approaches with a bit less workload on everyone's part. We're on an airway T705, inbound IFR for Saranac Lake, New York. ATC tells us to expect the RNAV to runway 9 starting from Smare. We're already navigating to Smare along this airway, so we activate the approach since it won't change where the navigation is taking us. We're going to pull up the approach plate using ForeFlight's new Dynamic Procedures feature. In the flight plan drawer, we tap Procedure, which pulls up procedures for our destination airport from our flight route. We'll grab the RNAV 9 starting at Smare and add it to the route. In addition to bringing up the approach plate overlaid on the moving map and the Dynamic Procedure sidebar, there's now a red circular arc around the airport. This is depicting the TAA area. We're still more than 30 miles from Smare and even further out from the destination airport, so it may come as a little surprise when we get our approach clearance and it's just, you're cleared RNAV 9er into Saranac Lake. This is part of doing a TAA approach. ATC can clear you pretty far out with minimum information about heading or altitude. Let's look at the approach and see how we should fly it. There are three sectors to this TAA approach, shown at the arrows. Our track inbound on the approach determines what sector we're in. The trouble is, the track is based on going to a certain fix, not SMARE, which is the initial approach fix we are going to. Looking at our flight route, we can't tell what track we're flying to any of these fixes, or what distance we are from them. So what sector should we use? This is where the overlay really helps, because we can see that our course will take us through the sector covering the southeast area. What this sector says is that when we're 30 miles from the Joe's intersection, we could descend from our last assigned altitude of 9,000 to 7,500. So that can happen once we're inside the arc area. Once we cross the outer arc depicted on the moving map, we can confirm our distance to Joe's is 30 miles using the ruler. So this confirms that since we've been cleared for the approach, we could descend to 7,500 without further ATC instruction. The next altitude in the TAA is 5,400. This we can go down to once we're within 10 miles of Joe's, and that inner arc is also depicted in red on the moving map. This will occur once we've passed Smare and joined the feeder route to Randy. Notice that the minimum altitude for the feeder route is 4,900, so we could descend to 4,900 as soon as we pass Smare, or we could just go down to 5,400. Descent in a TAA is at our discretion as long as we maintain minimum altitudes. We'll pass Smare and stay at 7500, which is not a bad idea since it keeps us above the clouds a bit longer. Then, crossing the inner arc, we could descend to 5400 or down to 4900 if we want. We'll get down that low once we're a few miles from Randy. Keep in mind that all of this is happening at our discretion without further ATC involvement. They just cleared us for the approach way out there and we use the TAA to determine minimum altitudes at certain points. The feeder route has a note, no PT, so we stay at the minimum for the segment, 4900, until passing Randy. Then we could turn right inbound on the approach course and go down to 3500, the minimum altitude for the final approach fix, Jimmy. Once we pass Jimmy, we're on the final segment and we'll typically get our permission to change over to advisory frequency. The TAA is a labor-saving device. It allows ATC to clear you to less busy airports without having to hold your hand through vectors and altitude changes. The onus is on you to determine which sector you're in for minimum altitudes, and this new ForeFlight feature can make it easier when which sector you're in can be kind of ambiguous. For more actionable training insights, subscribe to Flight Insight and check out our full ground schools at the link here and in the description.